Uh, today, we are heading to my doctor's appointment because I found out that I am pregnant. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Quay and I am back with another video. My daughter's in the back, my husband's driving. Um, so, uh, today we are heading to my doctor's appointment because I found out that I am pregnant and <laughs> I found out that I am pregnant. <laughs> um, it is indeed a blessing. So I am excited, but nervous at the same time. Um, if my calculations are correct, I should be at least five weeks pregnant. Um, my last period was on May 7th, because it is June, sorry, um, May 7th, and obviously I didn't get my period. I had actually found out that I was pregnant on me and my husband's anniversary on June 2nd. Something told me to just take a test, but prior to that, I was taking plenty of tests because I was just like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. and you know, they were um, all negative. Ironically, on our anniversary, I find I found out that I was pregnant, and I placed the pregnancy test. What did I do? I, I placed it on the on the bed, right? Did you? I know I didn't hand it to you. I placed it on the bed. I said, "Happy anniversary." Oh, <laughs> it was another yeah. one of his gifts. I was like, "What?" The? Uh, yeah. So I decided to wait um, a couple weeks before. I actually scheduled for my first prenatal visit. So today it's my first prenatal visit. And um, you know, with COVID and stuff happening, things are a lot different from the time that I was pregnant with my daughter. So I'm, I guess I'm kind of nervous because I'm not gonna have my husband like literally right there by my side. Cause he was at every prenatal visit, everything, you know, he did not leave me alone unless um, I had no choice but to be left alone. So. Uh, but this time I will be alone. Uh, they'll be in the car and I guess hopefully I'm allowed to FaceTime them um, and you know, just just act like they're actually there in the room with me. Just praying that we have a positive and great visit and after I get out, I will keep you guys uh, informed on what has happened, what has transpired in the room. Okay, so I am back from the doctor. You know, I, always, I notice I do this little thing with my hands when I start talking. I'm like, hey, so the do 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 do. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I am back from the doctor. And um, let me just tell y'all first of all. Okay, I was trying not to get my blood pressure all raised up because my appointment was for 10, 15 a.m. I ain't get seen until like 10, 40, maybe maybe 10.50, like 10.40ish. And I'm like, bro, like I'm already having like anxiety and nervousness and just being freaking scared. You know, like I haven't gone through this before, but it's like, you never know. So luckily um, they got me in before 11 o'clock and um, I was in there alone. My husband and my daughter, they stayed in the car, I FaceTimed my husband. And the doctor, uh, she checked my ovaries and uh, we saw the sack. And we saw a little, 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 uh, pee not even a pee, it, was, it looked like it was smaller than a pee. It actually had a heartbeat, it was flickering. Um, so that was all positive, everything else looked good. Um, so right now we're just blessed and I'm just trying to take it easy. I am kind of a little nauseous. I don't know if it's from the food that we ate from Cheesecake Factory, but um, I am a little nauseous, but it's wearing off. So um, today, yeah, I'm six weeks, zero days to be exact. So obviously next Friday, I would be seven weeks. And the expected due date is February 11th. I don't really know too many people that, whose birthdays are in February. So this is new for me. This is like a new month. I mean, the only thing that we really celebrate in February is um, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. And then what's the name? Uh, what's on his birthday is on the 4th. 
that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, so February is really <laughs> like, it's like, a, oh, okay, February. I'm excited. I'm excited um, to start this journey all over again and um, make our family a foursome instead of a threesome. So we didn't really technically tell Kenza that mommy has a baby in her stomach yet. We wanted to tell her when we got home so it could be, you know, in a more intimate setting and just really talk to her. Um, and yeah, just, you know, just make the conversation more intimate and a little more formal. Like I said, the only symptom that I'm really feeling is uh, a little nausea. I haven't thrown up. I haven't thrown up with my first pregnancy. Um, it's about to. I mean, yeah, I felt a little nausea here and there, but I haven't thrown up. I haven't really felt any major pregnancy symptoms except for having a craving of marinara sauce, which I still do now. I just, I don't know what it is. I love cheese sticks and marinara sauce. I loved it when I was pregnant with her, and I love it now. My next visit is in July. I'm praying that the baby is okay and will be measuring a lot bigger than it was today. God's willing it will. That's all I have for you guys today. A -a pregnancy vlog number one. I will see you for vlog number two. I said pregnancy vlog number one <laughs> with the two fingers up. Ah, so dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay. So that is all I have for you guys today. Pregnancy vlog number one. I will see you guys, God's willing, next time for pregnancy vlog number two. Y'all stay tuned, stay blessed, and I'll see you. Later.